A South Yorkshire football club has banned tiny shin pads after a teenage player suffered a double leg break. Peniston Church under-16 striker Alfie broke his tibia and fibula in a tackle during a game a couple of weeks ago. The 15-year-old shin pads, which were no bigger than a credit card, were similar to a size worn by stars of the professional game. Here's Mark Ansell. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing Alfie likes more than bagging goals. Last season, he was Peniston Church under-15's top scorer. But a double broken leg means he's now facing a long layoff. It's after Alfie changed his shin pads from the normal size to a tiny pair at half-time in a recent match. My dad had rules again, about only wearing these during training, and I decided to break them rules, stupidly. But um, it was a really hot Sunday sweaty, I felt the sweat on my shin pads, it didn't feel comfortable and these are supposed to be more comfortable as it is so I thought I'll switch into my smaller comfortable ones and that did prove to be a silly mistake. Yeah it's, it's just a fashion accessory really, you see all these big footballers wearing them, promoting wearing these smaller shin pads but really they're dangerous to wear, they don't offer enough protection. Well I've measured it and the miniature shin pad is tiny. It's smaller than the size of my palm. Eight centimetres long, five centimetres wide. I should have just stuck for wearing these for training. Like you said, they're not an ad adequate size for playing in games and don't offer me enough protection. Exactly, and if you've been wearing these, maybe you wouldn't be in a cast. Alfie's dad, Steve, wants to see Premier League stars like Jack Grealish to stop wearing the tiny shin pads. The Premiership is setting an example to the younger players, and it's it's the reason they exist. You know, so there are, there's clearly had been a demand for, for for them, even though they're not really doing the job they're supposed to be doing. And obviously, um, when they're when they're worn by professionals, they are essentially endorsed by them. And, and youngsters like to to imitate their heroes, don't they? The Football Association rules state shin pads are a requirement to provide a reasonable degree of protection, but there's no specification on their size. Peniston Church FC has now banned the mini shin pads across their 30 men's, women's and junior teams. Everybody will quote Jack Grealish because he wears his crocs nearly down to his ankles and he has this little shin pad tucked in there so he buys by the shin pad rule. Uh, it's just a fashion thing, isn't it? It's ridiculous. It doesn't give them any, any edge. It doesn't give them, makes them a better player whatsoever. Alfie won't be back playing the game he loves until next year. He's urging other footballers not to downsize their shin pads. Protection from injury is far more important than fashion. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, Peniston.